What is going on guys? We are back with another Lost Ark video. Today, we're going to be going over this right here, the Ability Stones or the Stones of Birth, whatever you prefer to call them. Basically, what we want to be going over is how to engrave these properly. Because I've been seeing a lot of people engrave these the incorrect way and then complaining and wondering why they're not getting the engravings that they want and why the negative stat is the one that always gets all of the enhancements every single time. So there is a method to the madness, guys. It's not 100% RNG. It is still mostly RNG, but there is still a slight method that you can do to improve your chances. As you see right here, I got a Stone of Birth with plus 6 Grudge, plus 3 Master Brawler, and then only plus 2 on the negative one, and it's fully enhanced. So why is it that I got... I was aiming for max grudge, so I got six of them on grudge, and I was aiming for as low of the negative as I could get, which I got plus two. So how did I do that exactly? Well, I'll show you how to do that exactly in this video right here. And it's super easy, guys. So all we're gonna do is head over to the engraver over here as normal. We're gonna go over to the facet, and then we're going to see, okay, so we read over the ones that we have and decide which one is the one that we prefer. So we have Master Brawler right here, which gives head attack damage plus 5, 12, and 25%. So as you see, you want to aim for that level 3, but we obviously can't get straight up level 3 just from this, but we want to get as many as we can. We also have Raid Captain, which is a very good one. Outgoing damage plus 10% of basic move speed bonus for 10%, 22%, and 45%. Now, obviously, if these aren't the engravings you're looking for, you don't have to power this up, but I'm going to be powering this one up just to show you guys the method. So as you see right here, there's the defense reduction. You do not want to be getting defense reduction. So you're going to want to try to keep the red one as minimal as possible and keep whichever one. You want to pick out one specific one and then have one secondary one. So now let's go over the method. So as you see right here, we start at 75%. That is basically the base rate so you go ahead and use the first enhance on your main skill and you have a 75 percent chance that it'll work so most of the time it will work so now it drops down for every successful attempt it will go down for every unsuccessful attempt it will go up and that's basically the method guys most people just mash this button over and over again and they go oh i got two of them good why what's going on so the, the method is right here it's at 65 percent I like to roll it on 65%, that's still pretty good. So we'll roll it on 65, it didn't work, not a big deal. 75 works, 65 fails. So we're getting a little bit unlucky here. 65 failed, 75 worked, 65 worked, there it is. So as you said, we got a little bit unlucky. The 65s, which is over 50% chance, we failed three of them. Not that big of a deal, we still got five of them. So now we're at 55% chance. That is when it gets pretty low. That's when I like to level up the red one at between 55 and 45. So we'll go ahead and level up the red one here. And that one worked, unfortunately. Now let's go ahead and try it again. And then it worked again. So now as you see, it's 35%. So we're getting some insane bad luck in this case. If that would have worked over here, that would have been better. So now it's at 35%. So now, of course, we're going to level up the red one again. It failed again. We'll level up the red one again. And then at 55%. Now at this point, since we got some pretty bad luck already, this isn't going to be the best piece. But again, 55, 45, 55. Now at 65 right here, that's, like I said, I like to go for the good one again. So we'll get the plus. At this point, it looks like you just want to keep going at the 55s because we got pretty unlucky, I would say, on this one. But that's basically how it works, guys. You want to try to choose when to power up your stone and when to use the other one. And at the end of the day, we still got 5, 5, and 4. So not terrible. We got lots of enhances there. So basically the method is anything 55 or 65, however crazy you're feeling, that's when you want to enhance the blue ones. Anything below that, that's when you want to enhance the red one. Because, again, if the red one fails, you still get that 10% gain. So as you see, on my first attempt, I got 9, 10, 11. On this one, I got 14. So I've got a lot more enhances at low percentages on this one than I did on my previous one. So that's why this one's a little bit more good regardless. But <clears throat> that's the way that it works, guys. Just make sure when you get down to 55, 45, you stop enhancing the one that you really, really care about. Try to do, if you only have one specific engraving you're looking for, just try to do it 65 and higher. And then if 
you don't really care too much, 55 or higher. But that's all I've got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this one and looking forward to more Lost Art content, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.